Hey folks, I'm Gene Dallasala, president of Audioholics. And I'm Hugo Rivera, vice president of marketing. And today it looks like we have a very nice piece of equipment over here, a couple of nice pieces from our friends at Yamaha, Gene. Can you go ahead and uh, elaborate on uh, what these are? Absolutely, Hugo. We have what's, co what's called as the Avantage line of products from Yamaha. And what they mean by Avantage is it's basically their elite product. It's their baby, their best product they could throw at the consumers. All the top end components are in each, each of these products. We have the CXA 5000, which is an 11 channel AV processor. And we have the MXA 5000, which is their 11 channel matching amplifier. So let me give you a little rundown before yes, we please. get into all the specifics of performance. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the CXA 5000, Hugo. Right. This is their flagship processor. It's based on their RXA 3030 AV receiver, which has all the latest HD decoding. It does true HD, DTS HD, Dolby Digital Plus, you name the whole gamut of surround formats are aptly covered in this product. Excellent. Okay. In addition to that, it has all the latest HDMI switching, 4K Ultra HD video up conversion. It has 3D pass through, which you and I both know is a yeah. dead technology. <laughs> Pretty much. But people want it, it's supported. You even have S video on this thing. It's amazing. So it's got all your legacy components covered as well. Mm -hmm. But some really neat things about this product is, number one, they have smart HDMI switching. So it has HDMI pass-through. You don't have to have the unit on when you're watching TV. If you have a, a source like a Blu-ray player playing, right. you don't have to waste power if you just want to use a TV speaker. That's a nice feature. It has HDMI for both zone one and zone two, fully assignable for both zones. So you could, really nice. you could bring any audio from any zone, video from any zone, from the, or I'm sorry, from any source from the first two into the both zones, okay? It has four zones of audio, so if you're not using all 11 channels in your primary theater room, you could reassign the other channels into zone two, a workout room, mm -hmm. um, a family right. family room, whatever you wanna do. That's excellent. So let me tell you about the 11 channels of processing, because that's kind of cool. You're probably thinking, well, you know, there's only seven channels in a home theater environment, yeah. right? Well, in addition to the front, left, right, and center channels, side channels, and back channels, Yamaha adds what's called their presence channels. They have two, two sets of presence channels for the front channels and for the back channels. So basically okay. what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you that fully enveloping feeling you get in the best cineplexes out there through their exclusive DSP processing. That's impressive. So yes, so again, if you don't want to use all that processing, you could reassign this to the other zones. Very, very nice. Now I see also that it comes with a few accessories over here. Can you go ahead and uh, talk about those a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, you know, this is a networking processor. So it does all your streaming, whether you want to do Pandora, you want to do, now they just announced Spotify. So now you can mm -hmm. serve Spotify through here. Um, you also could control the device on your iPad, Android, or iPhone. You could nice. fully control the product. You could turn on all the zones. You could change the surround modes, whatever you want to do. You don't need this remote control anymore. You could use your iPad device. That's excellent. So now you're looking at all these microphones and this little boomerang. You're probably wondering, is this something I'm going to play with the kids with? <laughs> but in actuality, this is a pretty cool feature. You put the microphone on top of it, and you, and you put this around the room, and you rotate it. Based on you follow the directions on the screen. And what Yamaha does is have a room correction system called YPAO, Y-P-A-O. And it, it's a multi-point measuring system. You put mm -hmm. it in all the primary seats of your room, and it sets the distance of the speakers, wow. the phase of the speakers, the delays. It even calculates the angle of the speaker, okay? Wow. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this thing is accurate enough to basically launch smart bombs from. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, you know, the other nice thing is it's got an, a manual PEQ equalizer for each channel so if you don't like all the results that it gives you mm -hmm. automatically you could tweak it uh, even the subwoofer channel you could tweak down to about 31 hertz nice so if you want to change a room mode or you want to tame a room mode whatever you could do that here mm -hmm. and what i really like about yamaha processors in general and the same thing with their receivers is they have very advanced base management so this but this by um he has two subwoofer outputs you could reconfigure them for front or back or do it in mono which is what i mm -hmm. recommend you really want both subs to be playing the same signal but this has independent control for each sub so you could do level and distance for each sub independently and then you could calibrate the whole thing as one excellent so that's really neat um mm -hmm. You know, going on to the back panel of this product it's got all your hdmi eight, eight hdmi inputs two hdmi outputs 
It has your legacy uh, components. It supports S-Video, composite video, component video, balanced connections. Every output on here is balanced, except they forgot to put a balanced output on the sub. Mm. Not not a showstopper, but you know it would have been a nice feature. But you can't have everything all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Excellent. So, Gene, how about the DSP on this product over here? Well, DSP fans are going to be really rejoicing with this product. Um, the RX A3030 has about 23 DSP modes. Mm -hmm. This bad boy's got 33 DSP modes. <laughs> Holy cow! So, so <laughs> if you want your if you want your system to sound like the halls of Munich, Germany, or the bathrooms at the Vatican. Yamaha's got you covered with their proprietary DSP. I have to agree with that. <laughs> Excellent. How about we start talking a little bit about the amplifier? What do you have to say about that? Okay, well, the MXA5000 is the matching amplifier to the CXA5000 processor. It is 11 channels, just like the processor is. And it's rated at 150 watts times 11. And, you know, we bench tested it and we found it does a lot more than that with the first two channels driven. And that's mostly because it has a pretty large transformer inside of it, mm -hmm. huge power supply caps, and a lot of heat sinking. Got it. So when, you, when we pull the cover off later, I'll give you a tour of what's in there. It's pretty cool. Excellent. And um, it's got balanced inputs. So you could go directly balanced into the receiver, or I'm sorry, the processor. Mm -hmm. And it has the ability to bi-amp. So if you're not using all 11 channels for the 11 setup, mm -hmm. you could bi-amp your front two channels. Ah, oh, that's nice. Or you could run two different zones of audio. That's really cool. So yeah, it's assignable. Um, when we pop the top off, you'll see the construction is top notch. Very thick aluminum construction chassis. It's got the H-frame, mm -hmm. which they call H-frame. Basically everything they've done inside this product is to minimize resonances and to dissipate heat. It's got, um, fans on the bottom that really don't turn on unless you're really pounding this thing. Right. And it does have an impeded selector switch on the back panel. And if you read our articles, we always advise to leave it in the high setting. Mm -hmm. It's really there for a UL certification so it could get the 4 ohm rating. But when you switch it to 4 ohm, you're basically starving the, the uh, amplifier of power. Okay. So we leave it at 8 ohms, give the thing plenty of a, a ventilation, you know, don't stack it, don't put other products on top of it, obviously. You'll be fine. This thing's got a big power supply in it it's gonna be able to handle pretty much any speaker load you throw at it. That's excellent. Really, really cool uh, product over here from our Yamaha fellows. Now, let's go back to our processor over here, Gene. I think you know you need to show this thing. Oh, come on, really? I, I really do, man. It's oh like, it's one God. of those things to where I looked at it, I'm like, hmm, wow, you know? All right, what? guys, for those of you that have a foot fetish, <laughs> Yamaha's got you covered. <laughs> they have what's called their art wedge or we call it the fifth foot. Right there. Right there, folks. It has it on both products. <laughs> Their claim is it adds rigidity to the chassis, it helps dissipate resonances, and it just makes your mid-range more chocolatey. So Gene, these products are really exciting. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the price range of these products. Sure, Hugo. Basically, they retail for $3,000 each, so you get the separate solution for around six grand. Okay. And uh, I just encourage people to check out our review online. We go more details into the listening tests. Mm -hmm. We have very comprehensive measurements so yep. you can see how they perform. So And that's it. Excellent. Well, you guys heard the man over here. Thank you so much for, for uh, talking about these two great products today. My pleasure. And I just want to go ahead and invite people to check out Audioholics at audioholics.com and uh, also to sign up to the free newsletter that we have where we will be sending you tons of exclusive um, promotions in addition to our top 2014 AV Picks ebook, which is really, really exciting. Can you talk a little bit about the ebook team? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, our AV Picks for this year, we have hot products inside of them. You mm -hmm. get to see what we think our favorite products are that we've been reviewing and playing with this year. And uh, it's a great guide. You print it out and it's a great reference. Yeah, it's excellent. Anyways, you know, again, thank you for uh, checking out the video. And if you liked it, please click uh, like on the button below. And also feel free to share it with your friends on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or any other social media you may have. Until next time, keep listening. <laughs>